Tony's now going to show you the poor wave or waving goodbye exercise. I'm going to start this off low down so you can see what we're doing, but then when I want him to do the full trick, I will be standing up so you're going to miss the top half of my body. But that's not me you're focusing on, it is Taylor. To start with a paw wave, you do need your dogs to have an understanding of how to give paw and what the paw is. Otherwise, when you ask them to do this, they're not going to understand what you're asking them to do. Okay, and you might get other things thrown at you, like your sits and your heels and things like that. So, start this one by reminding your dog how to do something with their paw. So, sit, paw, good boy. Very nice, Taylor, paw, yes, good man. And paw, yes, good boy. So, just to make sure they know what you're asking them to do and they can lift that foot up as and when you want them to, okay? Your next step, sit, good boy, is to have a little bit of distance between you and your dog so that when you ask for the paw, they can't actually place it on your hand, on your knee, on your foot. It is literally just in the air. And that split second their paw comes up into the air, that's when you mark it and treat and praise. So marking it with a click, if you click a train, you can use a yes or a good to let them know at that particular moment that's what you're after. And then you can get in there with that praise and fuss, okay? We're not looking for a complete wave at this stage, just the paw lifting and them not actually resting it on anything, okay? So Taylor paw. Good boy, very good. Sit and pull. No, sit, pull. Yes, good boy. And sit and pull. Pull. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Not one that we do very often with Taylor. We normally do target training with Taylor, so he's used to putting his foot on something rather than doing it just because we've said so. Wait. So then you can make it a bigger exercise. Pull. Yes. Sit up. Good boy. Taylor, paw. No, sit. Paw. <laughs> Which paw? Yes, good boy. Good boy. Sit. And paw. Yes, good boy. So this is a hard one for Taylor, as you can see. He's offering me down. He's offering me a few other bits and pieces because for him, he should be putting his foot onto something. But he's lifting it. I actually got a couple of times a little bit of a wave from him as well, so I'm really pleased with that. And then to make it the full exercise, I'm then going to stand up to make it more natural. Taylor, sit. Taylor, pull. Yes, good boy. Sit. And pull away. Wave goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Back a bit. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Bless you. Oh. <laughs> We've got everything there. So, remember, start making sure that your dog knows the paw. Again, paw as an exercise is um, previously on this course. So have a look through the pinned post for that one if you haven't already done it, or look through the wall and it will be there somewhere. Or ask me and I'll highlight it for you. Um, once they know how to give paw and they can do that reliably, then you just gradually start to have your hand further and further away so your dog has nothing to put the paw on and they end up with their paw just in the air. And then from there you can get further away and they'll get more confident and they'll keep that paw up for longer. And then you can change it from giving paw to wave goodbye. <coughs> Excuse Merlin. You can then change it to a wave goodbye or another command if you want to. Okay? My dogs want to go out, so I'm going to finish the video there. Okay.